Hi, welcome to JJ's Productions. I've got another Hitman 2 video. We're doing the elusive target, the politician, set in Orcs Bay. So this was quite a fun one. I'm going to play the introduction video just so that you get a grasp of what the elusive target's all about, and then we'll get into it. See you in a moment. Good evening, 47. Your target is Dame Barbara Elizabeth Keating, a New Zealand tycoon and the former Minister of Trade and Foreign Affairs. She was forced to resign from her position when a charity she represented was accused of funneling donations towards the Dame's own offshore portfolio. Dame Barbara drew on contacts in the tabloids to shift the blame onto the charity's director, Jacqueline Vicker, destroying her reputation and ensuring that Vicker's death shortly thereafter was perceived as a suicide. Dame Barbara is now embarking on a PR tour to restore her standing and we believe she's working with a body double in order to protect herself at public events. Needless to say, the contract only applies to the real Dame Barbara. Good luck, 47. So yeah, Barbara's quite an interesting character and I'll admit this elusive target wasn't too hard yet there was a bit of in intrigue about which uh, of the two Barbaras was actually the target. So from the start, what we do is we're just going to find a way into the house. I have seen routes online since I did this recording that are a little bit more efficient, essentially going through the front door or even going through the side doors. But I chose pretty much the back entrance. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound great. But at the time, the thought process was, it seems the best way of going in, in the sense that there are there are less enforcers in that area. So um, in my head it seemed good, but yeah, looking back I think I took the long way round. So yeah, I'm not too disappointed, but on the other hand, I wish I'd thought better. So as you can see, I'm going around the perimeter, nothing too fancy. You, sticking to the foliage just to make sure no one spots me. Now there's one enforcer just by that door, so I'm going to sneak into the foliage, go to this next section as well, and I'm going to get out a coin. So here we go. We're going to throw the coin just into that little area behind him so that he's out of the line of sight of the camera. The aim here is to knock him out, then shoot the camera, and then we're going to hide his body before the guy comes out. For some reason, there's a guard inside who comes out whatever camera you shoot. So, yeah, for whatever reason, we've got to time this well. So here we go, we're going to subdue him. We're going to shoot the camera, and then we're going to pop his body into the crate. There we go. So, just while I'm doing this, this is a silent assassin route. I am going to follow up with the suit-only route, but there is actually no difference. So what I will do is I'll commentate through this one, but you can just watch the suit-only version for yourself because the route is identical, I just managed to do it without changing disguise. So as you can see, that guard's come out to investigate nothing pretty much. He found the gun, so that takes him away a bit quicker, so no big bother there either. So as you can see, he goes back inside, we're going to follow him inside, but I actually get the disguise this time. So I sort of wish I hadn't done that because, like I say, you can do it suit-only, but no big drama either. So we're going to go through the door on the right, we need a lockpick for this as well. It seems like they've locked all the doors in Orcs Bay. So up the stairs we go, and this guy isn't an enforcer, but he's a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do is get rid of him. So what I would advise is throwing something. Throw something down the stairs and that will lure him down there, and then all you've got to do is knock him out. So I actually dropped the gun, I believe. I've got a glitch with my controller at the moment where it's leaning left all the time, so that is why my inventory wheel is spinning around like a maniac. As I, I'm literally getting dizzy watching it, so I apologise for anyone else like that. But um, yeah, for some reason, my one of my controllers will make 47 look like he's running with a limp, and the other one will make him always veer left. So. The bottom line at the moment is I need a new controller, but considering the £50 a pot nearly, I'm going to hold off until I absolutely must get one. So as you can see, that guard's coming away with the uh, gun. We're going to wait until he walks down this corridor, we're going to throw a can of spaghetti at him and put him in that crate. In the meantime, one of the politicians, the, well, for the record, she is the actual target, the other one's down on the ground floor. She's going to just make a phone call and then she's going to walk off. The idea is we're going to wait until she's walked off. We're going to sabotage the gas lamp up there and 
I don't walk away. But that was because at this point I was actually quite curious if she was the target because I didn't find any actual visual cues to sort of say for definite, yes, she is the one. I mean, maybe I didn't explore enough because I really did stay up to this area for a lot of it. But I didn't hear anything downstairs, for instance, from the other one where it was sort of alluding to the fact that she was the doppelganger. So, yeah, maybe there is an obvious thing that drew everyone straight to her straight away, but for me, I just happened to look upon it, really. So, as you can see, I've just shot that, and the idea is I'll just go near it because I wanted to make sure the gas was spewing from it. And as soon as you've taken the shot, all you got to do, really, is head to the exit because the gas is leaking and she lights a cigarette. What I did actually do was delay, just on the off chance she didn't light a cigarette and I needed to um, shoot it. So there are multiple things going on here. I mean, as you can see, I've stepped outside for a moment. I just wanted to have a quick nosy of what was going on at the level. Here's the other doppelganger. So it is quite easy to get confused because if anything, they are wearing exactly the same clothes as well. So yeah, it, it wouldn't be bad if they were sort of like wearing, say one, darker shade of pink but you know literally they could do a spin around and it'd be like that card game so um yeah i wasn't particularly fond of it i must say at least that element it, it was intriguing don't get me wrong but you know at this point i'm sort of like okay the one on the left is the target the one on the right is the one who's the doppelganger <laughs> you know and this was me just pretty much watching and observing the elusive target which i must admit i don't do a lot so um yeah and again, this is where it gets confusing because I'm looking at her going up the stairs now and I'm thinking, is she the doppelganger? <laughs> it really gets confusing. If I'm right, she goes into the bedrooms on the right now. Or does she? This is quite amusing for me just sitting back and watching because I'm like, which one was it? <laughs> and I'm not going to find out. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. It's like I say, I thought I'd find out then, but the thing is, she'll walk, the, the actual target walks in here before I even have a chance to find out. Oh, that is amusing. <laughs> but it's like I say, though, this is how this one is so tricky, because if you aren't actually keeping track of which one's which, they can get muddled up. <laughs> you know, it's a good job there is a set location for the target to be killed like this, because I've seen routes where uh, players have actually... Uh, managed to shoot her in the office or they've managed to get her downstairs and you think well done for working that out or well done for at least working out she's the one but equally there's a bit of me going if you'd have been like me then I, I don't know how you'd have worked it out so I'm curious if anyone has found a clue out or a way of ascertaining she is the one so um, yeah just let me know if anything the fact that she makes a phone call and says it's Barbara I would hope that is the indicator that, you know, she wouldn't, the doppelganger wouldn't say that. But, um, you never know. You know, it isn't impossible she'd uh, speak to her doppelganger, or the doppelganger would speak and say she's Barbara, you know, she, that is part of the job, isn't it? I don't know. So, I am waffling a bit at this point, but it's because there's not actually a lot to comment on, because she's making this phone call and it's going to be a last act, because she goes over to the gas lamp, lights a cigarette, and boom. And I didn't walk off. <laughs> I wasn't certain at all. I thought, there's a good chance here this could be a non-target kill. So I thought, let's just sit it out and wait, see what happens. As you can see, she lights up the cigarette and boom, target eliminated. Now, that was quite a big jump by my PS4, but all I did was exit the house the way I came in. And I'm just using the foliage to get to the boat. Now, I have found out since I did these recordings that there is the key to the second exit on this map, which is just for this level, is on the table in the ground floor. So it's like the central table. Uh, the like long table, I don't know how else to describe it, it's right at the fr front of it when you walk in the front door. So my advice would be grab that key because it's much nearer to get to the car and if you stick to the foliage easier than just going past these lot. So yeah, that about wraps up my commentary for this video. I am going to repeat it again but this, do, this time I'll do it suit only. Plus the route is a little bit faster so it's a little bit better than the 8 minutes or so run time here. But if you enjoyed this video and the one after, please leave the overall video a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Hitman 2 videos. I'll be back for more videos later in the week. Plus I've got the next elusive target, which I believe is uh, the Black Hat in Paris. So I'll be back in a couple of weeks for that. 
So until that, then, this has been Josh from JJ's Productions. I'll see you soon. Bye for now, everyone. Welcome to New Zealand, 47. Your target and her double are both preparing for their undoubtedly tearful comeback speech. I suspect Dame Barbara wouldn't settle for anything less than a perfect doppelganger, so a little additional reconnaissance might be in order.
charitable donation as we speak. Now, time to make your 